Good Friday morning to you guys. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, and it's a nice day. And I started off my day with a little humor. I was reading the comments, and I don't know if y'all remember Yosemite Sam or not, but remember he hit that he hit that camel in the head with that tube before, and he said, "When I when I says whoa, I means whoa." <laughs> that kind of started my day off on a high note. Anyway, having said that, uh, hey Google. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, Rusty. <laughs> the time is 7.14 a.m. Currently in Burnett, it's 32 and clear. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 58 and a low of 28. Have a nice day. You're very welcome, sir. Anyway, we've got a nice cool day today and a few days in that area, 58, well, 58 to 28 in that range for a few days and then goes back to the 60s and 70s and that's pretty normal for Central Texas this time of the year and got my hair all messed up but anyway that's alright anyway what else is going on hey Google what's the temperature in Butte Montana in Butte it's currently 32 Just a heat wave hey Google what's the temperature in Bangor Maine the temperature in Bangor right now is 45 God almighty y'all are warmer than we are what is this give me that heat down here y'all not supposed to have it <laughs> hey google what's the temperature in international falls minnesota the current temperature in international falls is minus 29 now there is get, currently an extreme cold warning in effect we're getting somewhere. minus 29 woo dog hey google what's the temperature in quartzsite arizona in quartzsite it's currently 45 45 that's nice that's not bad at all Anyway, uh, what else is going on? Oh, also, for you people that use the Amazon link, somebody used it yesterday, I think. <clears throat> but I appreciate it very, 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 very much. I do. I'm an Amazon affiliate. I post a link to Amazon products in every video in the uh, description. And if you use the link in the description and go to Amazon and buy anything, I get a small commission and I appreciate it. So if you do it, if you want to take the time and do it, thank you. If you don't want to fool with it, don't worry about it. But anyways, uh, it helps. But anyway, this is M <clears throat> this is MRBR549. This is he says, Rusty, what you said about Sheriff Arpaio is right on. The man should have been honored for his long public service, but instead they thanked him by making up stories and frivolous charges. Instead, I'm glad that President Trump pardoned him. I hope he does run for the Senate too. I think he is running. Yeah, he's, a, he's an old tiger. He's 85 years old. I'm telling you, tough old, tough old boy. Keith Johnson. Hi, Rusty. I was watching your driving video and noticed a deer crossing sign. You should get the county to move it to a safer spot on the road where the deer, could, where, where the deer would be easier to see. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, that's, uh, but there's a lot of deer up here. I mean, nobody, nobody pays any attention to those signs. You know, there's roadkill every morning. Uh, hundreds of deer are killed up here not every day but several and uh, there in fact there's a lady that raises dogs and uh, she uh, drives around in the morning and picks up some of the roadkill and grinds it up and feeds it to her pets thought that was pretty smart anyway this is um, PJ Biker Full he says welcome all to all new subs and Rusty's Rangers let's go for a drive with episode 203 of the world famous drive time with Rusty thank you PJ Biker Full I appreciate that and this is Brian Foltz on comment called good evening Rusty hey my Google says good morning gorgeous <laughs> Way to go. I see you 812. This comment has no value and contributes nothing. He got that from the title of my my uh, video, you know, just a, a drive and not much else. <clears throat> well, I didn't know how, what, what can you put a, how could you put a label on a video when you're just driving around rambling and talking to yourself. You know, I do this. I clean my nose every now and then because it'll drip because we've got, we got cedar pollen up here and it doesn't cause any problems. It just makes my nose drip every now and then. <clears throat> yeah, and that was the picture on the video with me picking my nose. I thought that was cute because YouTube picks those out. I don't. <clears throat> uh, Truman Jensen. Propane tank. I had a CO2 tank filled. They overfilled the 
tank the safety valve broke in my camper shell. It filled camper with fog. I thought my truck had exploded. If I had propane, it might be the end. <clears throat> CO2 tank. I, never, I don't have any of those. Uh, this is Burles Gwynn. He said, I like Sheriff Joe. And John, John Gritbach says, Joe is awesome. <clears throat> or Gertbach. Yeah, a lot of people like him. The media hates him because he's he's a man, and that that's one that's one reason <laughs> he's he's in trouble already. Uh, Paul Archuleta, uh, oh Rusty, I watch your videos and was hoping to meet you at the RTR. I'm taking the Prius and tent. Uh, well, <clears throat> didn't go this year, and I won't go next year, and I won't go the year after. But why? Because don't need to. There's nothing there for me, guys. And I'm not big on, who wants to see me? I mean, thank you for the comment, I guess. Time zone, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, and I also agree with MRBR549 about Sheriff, Sheriff R. Pyre. See, there's a lot of people like that guy. <clears throat> this is T-Duck. My buddy decided to wait until 65. He died at 63. No, I'm telling you, man. Uh, bird in the hands were two in the bush. They were talking about Social Security while they're taking it at age 65 or 62 you do what you want to do but I'm telling you bird in the hands were two in the bush you know I'm 72 years old have I seen people my old buddies pass away quickly yeah <clears throat> this is living healthy I did this out in uh, I think I did that at uh, Hoven Week National Monument Rick S I have to say you really know what you're talking about all good tips thank you just found your channel looking for tips on Prius camping just subbed and thumbs up to you well, Rick, I got a whole playlist on, on Prius camping, so and it's got all kind of tips, stuff I learned the hard way over a five-year period, so take advantage of it. <clears throat> this is Jane Delaney on the drive. Hi, Rusty. Wiley, here it is, Wiley Co Coyote. <clears throat> and the Roadrunner was my favorite childhood cartoon. They made a great duo, although I've kind of felt sorry for the coyote. He... He was always humiliated in his attempts to catch the roadrunner. Beep, beep. Thanks. Thank you for another enjoyable drive and talk. Yeah, he was. But you had to give the coyote the credit. Uh, he was creative. He was a builder. I mean, he was an engineer. God almighty. He came up with some stuff that was amazing. I mean, he had rockets and rocket shoes and all kind of crap. Those are fun. I, I laugh thinking about them now. MMP Cody. <clears throat> Walmart out here, gas tank refills $9.99, not bad. But if they only fill it to $0.75, cents, that makes more sense, not much of a deal. Yeah, here in uh, Texas, uh, it, well, yesterday it cost me $15. I was surprised. I thought that was, but what, the, the, the smaller the tank, the higher the price per gallon. That's a fact. If you had a 500-gallon tank filled, it's a lot less per gallon. They did tell me that. Uh, Mike 20 SM funny Eric Clapton cocaine song reference it's it's gems like that and why I continue to be a ranger yeah I said propane in fact there was a, a guy I knew years ago he didn't call it propane he called it profane <clears throat> anyway going on here Wrangler I'll be watching the Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons tomorrow night when my grandkids come over to spend the night they love watching those old 50s cartoons. I always put on for them. <clears throat> well, the reason they, get, they don't run them now, <clears throat> they're not politically correct. <clears throat> you know, it's, we, we've just destroyed a good country with that crap, haven't we? We've, we had a good country going. In fact, we, if we could just turn the clock back to the unpolitical correctness of the 50s and 60s, uh, I think we'd be a lot better off. Now, I'll probably get a lot of feedback on that. Uh, this is Art on the slab in Kingsland, Texas. Uh, he says, or she says, thought you might like this. Bald eagle eating fish at Kingsland slab, January 11, 2018. He's got a link to the video or picture of that. Yeah, we have the eagles come up to this part of Texas, and they stay here through March. They come up in uh, around November, December, and build their nests, and they usually go back to the same place. And if you saw those nests, they look like forts. I mean, those limbs that they put are that big around. I mean, I'm not kidding you. Those are big. I mean, they do. They look like a human could live in them. They're a huge nest. And then, amazingly, 
they're built just like a, a you know a small bird's nest. You know how they're all kind of weaved together. Well, the eagles do the same thing on a on a on a, on a larger scale. <clears throat> I mean, they use limbs like I said, a big rounds a quarter. Some of them. <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, this is solar and boondocking stuff I put on the bed. This is M-I-C-A-L-U-X, Michalux. Hey, Rusty, appreciate the stand guard at the door of your mind saying, well, let's do it. It seems there are too many BS artists out in everything in life. I love a strong, no-nonsense, independent voice, and I try to do the same. Thank you for being you, man. Well, you're welcome. I can't be anybody else. But no, that's, that's true. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Because you're in charge of that and what you let in are ingredients and you can't make a cake with crap okay no you let in the right ingredients you'll be fine you know if somebody's giving you a load of, of misery you don't have to listen to that crap just turn it off Poof, put the wall up babe uh, Bakari Green on how to replace oh this was on how to replace something on my Prius it says God bless you brother well God, thank you appreciate it uh, this is Michael Striff on Central Texas. Something. <clears throat> oh, driving. Yeah, here it is right here. When I says whoa, I means whoa. <laughs> or open the gate. Open the gate. Yeah. Gate falls on top of him. Close the gate. Close the gate. Always bested that nasty rabbit Bugs Bunny. Yeah, he did. That was so funny. But that one right there with the camel. Every time I see her, see that, her, it is so, that just kills me, man. He <laughs> got... He was trying to get that damn camel to stop. He's pulling on the range. Whoa, camel, whoa. Camel never slowed down. So finally, he's, he got him to stop, and he got a board, and he got around in front of him. <laughs> what I said, never mind. Tiny home, grizzled old dude. 10 by 20 is still a bit small. I think I'd need a minimum of 12 by 32 to be comfortable with it. You can order any size you want. <clears throat> So uh, driving, this is Grandma Patty, says, do you like suspense thrillers? Sometimes. If yes, and you haven't watched it yet, go to Amazon, go to the free Amazon, free Amazon Prime movies and watch Remember. It stars Christopher Plummer. Well, I may watch it. I'll make a note of it. Okay, thank you, Grandma Patty. Yeah, I like to watch a good movie every now and particularly when it's too cold to go outside. I get bored. I'm human. Uh, Bubba, Bubba Fringman. Get him, Bubba. Uh, I don't know, Rusty. Deb Joy is at the RTR, and I think you two would make a cute couple. Well, yeah, I hear you. You're smart, and she's sweet. You should have gone. Well, I hear you. We, we may make a cute couple one of these years. Sharon Poteet. I, I don't know who she is. <clears throat> Sharon Poteet. I like Sheriff Joe. See, a lot of, I mean, Sheriff Joe has a lot of loyal followers. Uh, this is on the Sunlight 16BH, and this is DI557, Diane Britson. Nice video. Thank you. You're welcome. And then Scotty Thompson's got, got four in a row here, and then Elmer's after that, and we're dead. <clears throat> Scotty says, cool comment call, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Scotty says, does your King TV antenna come with a stand, Rusty? Yes, it does, and it it it, you, it comes. It's all folded up, and you just uh, well, you don't even have to unfold it. You just shake it, and the legs go in place. It's amazing, and it's about three feet high. It's a good little stand, easy to fold up. Uh, this is Scotty Thompson again. He says, "Cool solar talk, Rusty." Thank you, Scotty. And Scotty Thompson says, "Cool Central Texas talk, Rusty," and driving your truck, Rusty. Well, thank you, Scotty Thompson. It's always a pleasure to hear from you. And uh, Central Texas, this is uh, driving. This is, hello, I'm Elmer. <clears throat> good morning. Bo it says, good morning, Rusty and Rangers. I want to comment on a segment of morning news. GM wants to be allowed to start building self-driving cars now. Technology is there just a matter of time before it's here. From the RTR event, Elmer and Helen, P.S. If I lived in Arizona, Arizona, I would certainly cast a vote for Joe. More power to him, just my personal opinion. My views may not reflect on others. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, that is the end of the comments, and now we will go to... Hey, Google, tell us a joke. <clears throat> One joke coming up. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot. 
orange and sounds like a parrot and it's a carrot wow you guys got to get better writers uh hey google what is a self-driving car according to wikipedia an autonomous car and unmanned ground vehicle is a vehicle that is capable of sensing its environment and navigating without human input well bully bully hey google how far is it to the sun the sun is 92.96 million miles from Earth. Hey Google, how far is it to Mars? My apologies, I don't understand. Hey Google, what's the distance to Mars? On the website space.com, they say, the minimum distance from the Earth to Mars is about 54.6 million kilometers. Kilometer. The farthest apart they can be is about 401 million kilometers. The average distance is about 225 million kilometers. So if you launched and, and aimed at a time when you'd reached there at its closest, 56 million kilometers is 30 million miles. <clears throat> so if you drove at 60 miles an hour, you'd never make it. <laughs> oh, golly. Yeah, you don't want to drive to Mars in my Ram pickup. You don't. Because you, you might have a hard time finding a gas station. But you know the way all these problems will be solved you know the technology that that is needed is not even here yet you know but it's coming you watch what i'm telling you man well you, you know you just look back at the uh things that have changed so dramatically in human existence that it's that if you were at the beginning of time and transported yourself to now well you, you wouldn't be able to exist you, you wouldn't be able to function you know, you'd want to get up and go hunting every day in New York City, and you'd probably end up hunting humans, I guess. But, I mean, no, it's just amazing. And, it, and it, well, the fact that, and, and what, what's happening here with me in this Google Home device, see, I had to ask that question twice to get the answer because you got to be specific. In other words, you have to ask it in a certain manner, and you have to use certain words. If you use the word distance, boom, he's got that. But if you say, how far is it, it doesn't mean anything, okay? <clears throat> so, and that's the same way it's going to be with these self-driving cars. You're going to have to learn to how to communicate with your automobile. In fact, it's almost that way now. Well, my pickup doesn't have many bells and whistles, so to speak. But some of the new fancy models, you get in it and it starts talking to you, you know? And uh, that's, uh, you know, that's the future, though. Get, get on, get off, or get out of the way, because it's coming. But anyway, guys, uh, from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying enjoy your life. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, bye anything your little heart desires. If you want a 500-foot yacht, order it. But use the Amazon link in the description, okay? Because I'm an Amazon affiliate and I get a little commission, it helps. If you don't want to fool with it, don't worry about it. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's actually good for you. It will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it will help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. What else? Take deep breaths several times a day and breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure and that is wonderful for your little heart and your whole body. So what else? Stretch. Stretch your arms. You know, do your stretches every day. Swing, swing, swing. Walk, walk, walk. I'm going to do my stretches in here at home, and then I'll go to Walmart and do my walking because i got to pick up another pair of jogging pants because that's all I wear now. The only pants I wear are lightweight jogging pants, and then when it warms up enough, I wear shorts, and that's my whole wardrobe and a bunch of these little shirts and stuff because I do not need to make a fashion statement anymore and have it in about 40 years and what else <clears throat> yeah do your stretches but also the uh, probably another thing that helps relieve stress is this right here stand guard at the door of your mind and that is so true guys i know it's hard to do i didn't do it when i was in my 30s i started doing it in my 40s because i that's where i got that saying from i went to a seminar in california the speaker's name and you can watch his youtube videos his name is Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N. 
and I don't know, I haven't watched, I watched a couple of his videos, and it, he, it's the same material he used way back when, <clears throat> but it's, he's good, he's a good public speaker, uh, and what he says is very uh, commonsensical and useful, so, but stand guard at the door of your mind uh, was, it went in, that one, I, that was a keeper, that was definitely a keeper, because, you know, it occurred, because we had talking heads back then, too, okay, back in the 80s, <clears throat> 70s, 80s, 90s. They were not as goofy as they are today, nor were they as a, in the attack mode all the time. But they were there, and uh, you just had to. And but mainly, stand guard. And, and you know, stand guard at the door of your mind, because even even acquaintances can unload a dump truck, dump load, dump load. Let me start over again. Even acquaintances and unload a truckload of crap in your brain, okay? By things like, oh, I just feel so bad today. I think I've got the flu. Or I'm just so stressed out. You know, I'm just so, I just feel miserable. Do you want to hear that? I don't want to hear that crap. Right here, boys, close the doors. When they start talking, just start thinking about going fishing or uh sitting on a mountaintop feeling the wind blow or watching the aspen leaves move on the aspen trees you know no just uh, tune them out man or i think i've got to do this or i've got to do oh my boyfriend or my girlfriend or this or that or that deal with it you know telling me about it ain't gonna help a damn thing <clears throat> you know i'm not gonna loan you any money so anyway from central texas guys y'all have a great weekend this is a friday tgif <laughs> And when I says whoa, I mean whoa. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy your weekend. Adios. Bye-bye. <laughs>